Welcome to the final veg hack of our 12 hacks of Christmas series. Over the last few weeks, me and Bob and the whole team, James as well, yep, <laughs> have had a great time putting them together and we really hope you found them useful. So the final one today is a nice quick one. The whole point of this is just a super simple dessert. It's not too heavy because we all know we've overindulged, so it's really simple. Fruit based, so you always feel a bit better eating fruit for dessert instead of chocolate and meringue and all that sort of heavy stuff. Really simple. And as a Brucey bonus, you get a really nice sort of drink recipe as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mold cider. Yeah, you're interested already. And then we're gonna use that to poach some apples. So we're basically poaching apples in alcoholic apple juice, which I know sounds great. And then we're just gonna finish it with some toasted almonds and some mascarpone. We've got the liquid, we can use that as mold cider to have a little toast. And then we've also got these lovely, fragrant, soft cooked apples to really enjoy. Couldn't be simpler, make your mold cider. Now, we're not really following a recipe for this. There are plenty out there. Make a sugar syrup with a little bit of apple juice and your sugar, then you add your cider. And the reason why we do it this way around is if we boil the cider, we'll bubble off all the alcohol and then we won't have an alcoholic drink. So that's fine if you're not fussing on the alcohol, but if you also want to get a couple of glasses of mulled cider before you do this, then you need to take it off before you boil it. So we've added in our cider now, and we're just gonna bring that gently up to the simmer. Now remember, I did just tell you, but another reminder, if you want to get a drink out of this, take it out before it boils. So now's the perfect time when it's nice and hot. With your apples, you peeled them, now it's time to core them. Use a core or use a knife, just any old way, get the cores out, and then cut them in half. And then once it's simmering, we can add in our apples and they won't take long at all to poach. So the apples are in, they're bubbling away. They're gonna take, depends on like the firmness and the ripeness and the variety, I'd say probably about 10 to 15 minutes until they're soft. The good thing is you can't really undercook an apple, do you? Because they're edible in the first place. So do it until you're happy with the texture. Perfect time now to enjoy a little glass and then wait for them to be ready. Could not be simpler, about 10 minutes in the pan, the apples are nice and soft, so I just ladled it into a bowl, put some creme fraiche on top, and sprinkled some uh, toasted almonds as well, just to give it that little bit of crunch. And there it is, really simple, sort of nicely spiced, warm in festive dessert. As for always, I really hope you enjoyed this, not only because it's the last veg hack of the year, but also Christmas is almost upon us. So on behalf of me, Bob, Director James, and everyone down here at Riverford, we wish you a really happy Christmas, a happy new year, and we've got loads of great, exciting stuff coming for you, and we can't wait to share it in the next few months.